Hey guys, welcome back to another Brood War ladder cast. This one's going to be sponsored by Neon Marble Rust. They, along with the Patreon supp supporters, are responsible for keeping food in my belly right now. So I really appreciate them. And I'm going to be doing a stream for Neon Marble Rust. Um, I'm going to be playing his game coming up here shortly. But guys, if you are unable to support, if you don't have the financial resources or whatever else to... Uh, donate on Patreon or anything like that. I totally understand. Um, however, Neon Marble Rust is a big sponsor for this channel. And they would really, really like to get some more players into their game. It's a retro RTS game. And it costs you guys absolutely nothing. It's a link that's in the description. You click it. You go to their Steam site. It is a Steam game, and uh, so it's not it's not sketchy or anything like that. Uh, you can download the game, and all you need to do is give them a Steam review, try the game out a little bit, and it really does help me out, guys. So, uh, like I said, if you're not able to support, but you are enjoying the content, you're enjoying what I'm doing here with casting, um, do consider giving that... A click heading over there and leaving a steam review definitely helps man so we're gonna be getting into this game now enough chatter and nexus first here and this blue protoss player is actually called promise we've done a bunch of games of him recently hero was one of his opponents calm he played against recently as well he put up some good fights against both of those players so today he's gonna be taking on scan and I've heard these are particularly excellent games. So we should be in for a pretty decent TVP. I think just personally from my rating of what I've seen from these guys, both Scan and Promise, I'd say that they're pretty evenly matched. So depending on you know how these openers end up going, and we've actually got double gateway after Nexus and a kind of a late scout here for... Scan, he's scouting just after the factory starts. First Marine is out as well. And, you know, he's not going to find out about this Nexus until it's a little bit too late. I mean, he could still pull workers, but when you see the double gateway as well, you know that the Protoss isn't being, like, super duper greedy. Uh, he doesn't even go inside to check the main. Hmm, what's he going to do here? Is he going to build a bunker? Yeah, he is going to build a bunker. So we're going to just send Marines across and pull a bunch of SCVs right now. Interesting choice here from Scan. Let's see. Probes are being pulled. Okay, yeah. This is a really good response here from Promise. Realizing that the SCV should have come in to take a look inside the main, he comes out to check and finds this bunker. A bunker is getting kind of low. It's near completion, but he does actually need to get out here and stop this from going down Ooh, targeting the two scvs whoa great target there from promise killed two scvs and i think only one or two probes went down during that great targeting here with the zealots as well and finally that bunker will finish but another scv goes down what do we got four or five scvs being lost at this point and we're not even in range of the nexus this is a bit rough right now two goons are about to pop out and we're gonna start a second bunker now Another Marine managed to walk around at least. So we've got four Marines for this bunker. Zealots are going to drop back as the Vulture arrives. Going after this SCV. Can he get it? No. Good pullback there. For Scan. He's only got the one SCV left. Just this one singular SCV. Can he target it down and kill it? Oh, the last shot there does finish it off. Targeting probes right now. A pretty good choice here from Scan. He will not be able to kill the Nexus. Not without having this bunker up that's for sure Ooh, bring back the dragoon there a little bit of a mistake from promise that thing was way too low and immediately targeted by scan finishes it off he's gonna deal a little damage to his nexus but this is not going down guys this will be saved here Ooh, almost gets another dragoon marine's gonna pull back to the secondary bunker two more scvs were sent across the map Oh, man. I think these are just going to run by. Oh, it's a shame that that dragon's not being targeted. He jumps inside the bunker. 
But now the Dragoons are on the other side. You're not going to be able to rally anything to that position any longer. Mines is just about to finish up. So maybe with Mines, we can see this Vulture slip in. Get some Mines planted down here. It could be really powerful. He's going to go around this bottom side here. Try to get in a good position. But a lot of SCVs, man, a lot of SCVs and probes have been killed. We're at 19 to 19. So I guess it's actually really, really even here. 31 to 31. Wow. Uh, kind of incredible that we're so close in supply right now. Coming right up here. Jumping on top of these dragoons. There's still two marines in the bunker. It's not a, a lot of DPS. But it is enough to kill one dragoon. That is it, though. Two vultures and two marines go down. Um... And only one Dragoon falls. He's going to jump out and target the low HP Goon. Not quite able to get it. 9 HP on that. Does he have another Vulture coming up? No. Damn. Two of these Goons are going to go away with like 9 and 19 HP. 5 kills on each of those. Another 5 on this one. What is going on? If that was 5 kills as well, that would have been insane. 5, 5, 5, and 1. Interesting. Well. Uh... Nice defense here from Promise, and we don't have a CC, so a second factory to follow this up? Are we serious? Now, this is a crazy game. Scan. No brakes on this man. He's just going to hit the gas pedal. Try to end the game here, and it's actually Observer that's coming out right now, which is not the greatest uh, when you're going up against a push like this. If he was going, like, right into a Reaver after this, it would be a lot more helpful in dealing with a push uh, that's coming up here in just a moment. Second Factory finishes. And we're going to come up and push the wall in here. A lot of the Dragoons are in the main base waiting for a potential drop. He's not going to expect this push to come in right here, right now. And he's going to lose two Dragoons right off the bat. A lot of the Dragoons are low. There's still one more low HP Dragoon here. Ooh. Mine almost uh, triggering there. Still falling back. Do not get trapped here by the probes. Got to keep these tanks alive. They are essential for this push to end up working. Still no CC back at home for Scan. He is just completely all in with this. Two observers are out now, but going to pull away from the natural maybe? Are we just going to abandon ship? Let this Nexus go? That's a possibility. Two more pylons on the way because these, this pylon wall is definitely going to go down. He needs to keep his production rolling here. Coming forward, now trying to put down some mines. Taking fights, targeting down dragoons, but this tank is likely to go down here. Oh, it manages to survive. That's crazy. This one tank in the back, he should really dive forward and hit that. He, he just can't right now. He can't hit that tank. Two SCVs come up and he should be able... To repair now tanks on high ground gonna siege up it's been pushed back a little ways away from the natural though only three dragoons remain a shuttle out here a reaver on the way that reaver is going to be critical to this defense or potentially to a counter attack that could come through if he just goes across the map with the reaver there's going to be nothing at home to defend i don't even see a mine in this space not even one so Pretty dangerous situation here on both sides. Both players playing fast and loose here in the early game. And a Reaver is going to be picked up. It looks like it will go directly for that counterattack. And Scan is just going to have, yeah, nothing here. Not even an armory. So he's so far away from anything that shoots up right now. It's kind of crazy. We don't have even one turret back at home. He's actually building turrets with the push. But... This Reaver could just end things for Scan. He's going to get a lot of damage here. Only 26 SCVs at this point. 33 probes. That's the advantage of having that Nexus up for so much time. Mines are going to start to get laid here. Ooh. A great hit. on From that Reaver so far. One shot. A second goes down. Going to get another good one. Kills off a Vulture here. But the tank shot finishes it. That's a huge, huge deal right now. Still 21 SCVs, and the CC is halfway complete. Plus, we have this pretty good contain over here, so it's not going to be easy for Promise to take a base right now. He should have been able to micro that basically forever. 
If this was snow, he would have pulled Scan apart piece by piece, limb by limb. Like he was taking apart an ant. He was like a, a nine-year-old boy. This is um not looking good for Promise now. The ant just got superpowers. It's a chemically enhanced ant. It's about to turn around and squash him right back at this point. Vulture sneaks in, but we're shuttling out of the main right now. Two shuttles. Slowly elevatoring units out onto the map. Can can you actually see this right now? I, I guess he can't. I guess he can't. Where are the observers? Okay, there's the observer. Going around behind this right now. Two SCVs getting in the way. Unfortunately, going to lose an observer here at the front. I guess he's going to hit this from two angles and try to break it. There's three tanks here. That's not a lot. Definitely breakable. We've got no zealots, though. Do we have any zealots in this shuttle? No. But he does drop a reaver here. That mine is going to connect, I think. It does. And it kills the reaver. So the reaver goes down, but he does manage to clean up everything else. Ah, that mine. Okay. Ah, this mine. Oh. That's painful. Still a pretty decent probe advantage, but the Nexus is super delayed here. And are we actually going to get into a normal game after all that chaos? Wow, this really is a good game. Got to shout out Dude Nerd for putting this up on Seawall. Very impressive little game here between these two players. One gateway was lost. Still two factories here. Yet to add more. We're finally going to add an armory. A dropship is coming. Kudos to Scan for having the presence of mind adding on a dropship in this crazy, crazy game. I just, as a Protoss player, like, you wouldn't expect it, I think. You're, you're going to expect, I think, Scan to just sit back and play scared now that he's gotten a little bit of an advantage. You know, he's got this... CC out for longer than you. But Scan says, no way. I'm just going to put the pressure on. I'm going to get this dropship out and, and start to try and deal some damage. Ah, uh, he's going to see it, though. That's a bit of a shame. I, I definitely think that Scan saw the Observer get hit by the turret there. He should have been able to know that that was there. Um, and taken a different route to hide the dropship because this would have caught Promise off guard, but now it's not going to do anything. Promise is completely ready for this now. He's transferring workers. He's double expanded. This is still a very close game here. Going to pick up now. Looking for a drop into the main, but I mean, that's just... That's just almost suicidal at this point. Yeah, there's way too many goons. Yeah, uh, uh, scan. He wants to at least let them out, but... Darn it. I gave him kudos for building that. And then he goes and throws it away, like... In that manner, pretty unfortunate. Even just keeping it alive and placing it on the map, like, just put it over here. Just hide it over here. Right there. And... He knows that it's out there, so Promise is just going to keep, like, looking around, moving his observers, like, trying to find, where is it? Where's the drop? Where is it? You know, it's got to be coming in any moment now. I have to put on, I have to put down cannons, you know? Put a cannon here. He's going to put a cannon there and a cannon here. Um, but if he just kills it, uh, basically for free, then he doesn't have anything to worry about. And that's kind of the situation we're in now, where Promise really doesn't have any concern at this point, he's just going to add gateways and transfer probes. Just keep banking up that probe number. Actually, pretty decent SCV production out of scan. And I guess that time when he had a second while the, the second Nexus was still building here actually allowed scan to get uh, more workers out than his opponent. Because look at that. Just now catching up and is surpassing his promise. With a triple nexus. He's kind of stopped producing probes at this point. Scan's still making SEVs though. And the third is about to finish. This is a pretty good map to just kind of hang out on three bases this turn. 
because it is so easily defendable. You can just set up a bunch of buildings down here, float a couple buildings over here. It's very hard to push in. Of course, it is also very hard to push out. So we'll see how Promise abuses this position. Upgrade Scarab damage on the way. That's funny. Interesting choices. I love to see er like really scrappy early game uh, fights go into a late game situation. It's so interesting. As both players, they really don't know where they're at, and it's it's funny to see the choices here. Like, why choose Scarab damage right now, Promise? It does kind of tickle my uh, my sense of creativity in this game. That he would be going for that right now, but mostly just a straight up gateway army. Speed Zealot is done. We're going to have more and more shuttles popping out. I think we've got shuttle speed already. Yes, and... I don't think that breaking through here is a possibility. There's not quite enough vultures right now, though, so maybe it can happen. Well, it's coming in here. The two Reavers getting dropped in the front. I don't know if that was the right choice. They die very, very quick to the tank fire, just immediately targeted. Um, some mines do connect down here, doing a good job clearing out the allied units. But taking over this position, he's managed to crack the third base. Scan... Feeling a little bit overconfident that he didn't need, you know, mines in front of this army here. He didn't need a whole bunch of mines there. He didn't need buildings there. Um, kind of an oversight, I guess, from Scan, and he's really paying for it. Dearly in this situation. I don't know if there's anything in there. I clicked it a little bit too late. Zealot's continuing to rally across the map right now. He's going to lose control of this third completely as the CC starts to go down here. Scan going to desperately try to keep that alive. Bring up a tank. Target fire on the CC. He lifts to prevent some of the zealot damage at least. But, I mean, can he even survive the next wave of what's to come here from Promise? Pretty decent mine there. This CC is getting so low. Oh my god, it goes down. Four dragoons were all that remain. As the CC falls, that was really, really close to a uh, save there for Scan. But unfortunately, he will have to remake that CC, which means he will not be on three base for quite some time. And a fourth is already down here for Promise. And now I think it's seriously Promise favored at this point. He reset the tank count quite heavily. He killed the third base. Scan is going to do some desperation moves here. Oh, he's actually going to just take this high ground. I thought he was going to try and push or something. That would be really, really crazy stuff. But instead, just going to take high ground. Hold this position. I don't know if this is uh, the right way to play this out. I really don't. I don't know if there is a right way to play it out from this spot. Uh, when you're in this bad of a bind here as Terran. It feels like the, the Protoss is, is light years ahead, but only a 10 supply advantage. I just, I think that that's going to explode here in a second. That, that supply advantage is going to just skyrocket here very, very soon. We've only got one, two, three, four, five, six. We've only got eight gateways, which is a little bit surprising. I would have expected more. Oh man, this drop could do so much. This shuttle coming in right now. Storm and Reaver with one Zealot. Very, very scary. Reaver gonna deal some damage. The SCVs get pulled, but he's just baiting right now. Oh, he revealed the Templar. I thought he was gonna keep the Templar hidden and, you know, try to bait for a big wave of SCVs like this. He's gonna go for it. Storm does go down. Very nice Storm right there. Dealing quite a lot of damage. I think the shuttle died. Yeah, it must have died to the turret there. And the Reaver and Templar will fall. Vulture down here in the bottom left. That's kind of funny. Very low on that HP. We'll come back in for one last kill. Definitely about to die now, though. And, well, I mean... We haven't added on that many gateways yet. 
I'm gonna take the bottom left. Maybe he wants to add gateways down there. It doesn't really feel like there's a lot of room here for more gates. Maybe he can put some down here. Maybe two more here, potentially. But this is a pretty scary push. That's a lot of Templar, though. And we should have a bunch of shuttles back at home, too. There's two over here. Time to snipe some Templar. We really need to pick off some of these before this next fight. Or it could go really, really bad. Some pretty grouped up tanks. Like, I think you can hit here and storm all four of these tanks. This one here is a group of three. That could get stormed as well, this group. You storm this tank, I think you hit all three of these tanks as well. So, there's not really any bad targets here for storm. All of them are pretty darn good. Oh, the Proto's gonna go around. Force the Unsiege here and then try to dive on top. Oh, that shuttle went down really, really fast. A lot of storm in this shuttle, but the second shuttle goes down as well. This is going reasonably well right now for Scan. He just needs to pick off these Templar. Wow, that went about as well as it, I like could ever have expected it to go. That was very, very good for Scan. And he got all the shuttles immediately. And he just didn't hardly take any storm damage at all. So he's going to be feeling quite good right now. Let's take a look at the upgrades. 2-1 is done. Protoss has two attack. Oh, three tanks made their way down here. I didn't even see this. Three tanks walked a long way, all the way down to the bottom left. Wasn't a dropship, was it? I don't think so. They might be able to kill this Nexus before all the Dragoons can make their way down here. Promise being a little bit slow with that. And this is a great move for Scan. Sacrificing three tanks? It'll be tough for him to clear that out. And the Nexus goes down. Uh-oh. Throwing away a few vultures, though, right before this attack as well. Sieging up right now, but it's a little bit late. Zealots are going to run right up on top of this. A lot of these tanks are going to end up dying. Great storm there in the back. Another great storm here on the right-hand side. And Scan, although he made a great move down towards that bottom left, this is looking painful. He's losing so much right now. More mine's going to hit. But is it even going to matter at this point? Three tanks. A few vultures. It should be enough to clear up this army. But is it enough to hold on to the third? We'll have to wait and find out. Oh, the mine connection there. Beautiful. We should only be able to get maybe one, two tanks after the fact. Oh my gosh. Kills two tanks. That's so rough. Sieging up now. But more units are going to come in. He's got drops. He's got shuttles. Can just throw this on top of these, this one singular tank. Pick that off. And then the dragons should be able to reign supreme here. Promise. Being a little bit slow to move in right now. So each tank here with three kills. Waiting for that probe. I think he'll get that potentially for free. That does end up going down. Three tanks here. Just three tanks trying to take this high ground. I don't think that's going to work out too well. Although, we've seen some miracles in this game already. There we go. The big drops here on top of all the tanks right now. Going to clear that up very nice and easily. At this point, Scan just really doesn't have anything. All of his SCVs are going to end up going down. And GG is called. He did end up taking this base. So he had something going on besides just this third. But Promise was bearing down on him a little bit too hard. Let's go back a little bit. And take a look here. Prom is just going to storm everything. He actually stays in this for a long time. What is he doing? It's kind of funny. He finds this base. Wow. Promise just stayed and killed all of his buildings. What a guy. All right. We're going to jump back. Just for a moment. Because I want to see that last fight. And what happened with those tanks? The three tanks that just kind of w just went out on their own. And made their way down to the bottom left. It was kind of interesting. Let's see when he actually sends these out. There it is, right there. So he sends the tanks around. I think it was actually to defend this fourth. But he ends up sending them down to the bottom left. Which is interesting. This fight was insanely good for Scan. I think a lot of the stuff got kind of caught here. Going up this ramp. 
And so everything was sort of single file coming in this direction. But then this next fight was just horrible. I could, could hardly believe how bad this next one was, considering how well that first one went. Look at, he's sieged up here, but so stacked. And now he's going to unsiege right as the attack is coming in here. I want to see the force is kind of building up here, building up. He's getting ready for this. He throws away all of his vultures and he unseizes his tanks. I think he's paying attention down here or something. Where is his attention going right now? We have a drop or something going on? I guess not. Right at this moment, he just resieges all of his tanks and he has absolutely no vultures. He threw them all away running down that ramp. There's got nothing here to help clear out the zealots and the storms are just going to ravage this army. And I think this was the killing blow right here, which is taking this bad of a fight when things are this scrappy. Just no bueno here for the Terran player. Let's take a look at that earlier fight as well. The one where he lost his third. So this position here, look at how many tanks we've got. What is this? 10 tanks? 10 tanks on low ground. Pretty scary army to try and push into. But look at how lacking we are on mines right now. There's just no mines here at all. We've got the four shuttles, which is fantastic. Two turrets as well. A lot of anti-air is ready for this. It really is ready for this attack. All right, I forgot he pushes up the ramp here a little bit then backs up. He lost um, three of his Goliaths, I guess, to the, uh, to the Reaver shuttle. He does a good spread here, but look, we just really don't have the vultures and no mines here whatsoever. So these zealots are going to be able to run down this ramp. No problem. Get right up on top of this stuff. The Reavers went down really, really fast here, but the zealots are the real problem. They get on top of everything and this position is quickly and easily broken open. This is when things started to go bad for Scan. Uh, and that attack that happened here on the high ground, that big fight, was when things really fell apart. So, that's it for game number one, guys. We're going to have a short little break. We'll be right back with game number two. Hey, guys. Neon Marble Rust is back with a new visual update and gameplay changes. If you haven't seen it before, this is a brand new RTS made by fans of Brood War and this channel. They are looking to recreate the old school RTS feel with an interesting twist. You will manage a complicated economy with many different resources using automation and upgrades as you bring together a strategy to overwhelm your opponent. The game is completely free to play and my link to their stream page is in the description of the video. Thank you to everyone who supports me by downloading the game and thank you to Neon Marble Rust for helping to keep the dream alive. Now back to the video. Okay, game number two here. Promise spawning in the top left hand corner. Scan over here in the top right. And I just want to address something that's been going on in the comments a lot lately. Well, not a lot, but you know how it is. There's a few people who like to yap their mouths off. And um, one of the comments I've gotten a little bit more recently is that people uh, think that I shouldn't be criticizing pro players. And I just want to let you guys know that it's not criticism when I say that Oh, Scan probably should have had mines here. Scan, maybe he could have had, or, you know, the, the siege up was not good or something like that. I'm not trying to criticize them or say that I could do better than what they're doing. I'm just commentating. It's called commentary. I'm letting you know what's going on in the game and the possible mistakes that I might be seeing because everybody makes mistakes in this game. There are no perfect players. And if we can't talk about the players honestly and their mistakes honestly, then what are we even doing? 
Plus, it's part of what makes this game fantastic is we watch their play, we see the mistakes that they make, and then when those mistakes are corrected and they start playing better and better, then we notice it, right? We start to see it. We can feel the change in the players as they be progress. We just don't talk about, you know, the mistakes that they're making, then we don't really know what's going on, do we? Anyway. That's something that's been annoying me a little bit lately. Some people have been criticizing me on that. It's all good. You guys can leave whatever comments you want. I welcome the conversation. It helps to uh, improve the algorithm or the video in the eyes of the algorithm. So I appreciate it. Even you guys who are haters, if you leave a comment, you're still helping with the algorithm. So thank you very much. Similar game to the last one, double gate here after Nexus first, and pretty much the same build here from Scan as well. Although, this time, I doubt we'll see a 2-Rex. Um, we might see a rush, though, here to kill the Nexus first, because it worked pretty well, it worked reasonably well, and it was such a scrappy game, that last one. Um, it was hard to even tell who was ahead um, if, especially if you were, I mean, since we could see the number of probes and all that, uh, it's not too bad, but, uh, if you were just pl a player, it would be very, very tough, uh, in this, in that last game to, to figure out actually who was in the lead. This time, no SEV pull, no bunker being made here. There's a couple of zealots about to pop out, a vulture on the way. And three Marines. Let's see what he can do with these three Marines. Maybe he can force some uh, probes to be pulled. I don't think so. Two Zealots here. More than enough to deal with three Marines. Oh, there's the SCV pull. Never mind. Okay, SCV pulls are coming here, boys. We're, the boys are being pulled. We're going to try and break this Nexus here. So it's a repeat of game number one. Almost the same setup here. One SCV gets picked off immediately. The bunker gets started. She's going to try and hit this from behind while the Dragoon kind of fights here at the front. Vultures here. Going to target down one Zealot at a time. The probe's being pulled, getting some good damage. Looks like the Zealot is going to go down. Two Marines fall, though. Targeting down the SCVs one by one. I really like the idea here from Promise. I was just targeting down the SCVs. Can you see this? Every time one hops on top of that bunker, he just targets it down. He doesn't get that last SCV. And the bunker finishes. But this is still pretty good stuff here, I think, from Promise. He's killed quite a lot of SCVs. He did fight with quite a few, though, as well. So, similar damage at this point. I don't think we have range. No, no range. So just Dragoons being made here is going to run forward. Try to target down the SCVs, it looks like. SCVs are going to go down pretty quickly. The Dragoons are going to run by now. Um, try to pick off Marines as they come across the map and maybe get a Vulture or two if they can. This is going to take a long time for this Nexus to die because the uh, Pylons are going to get targeted as well. Okay, this Pylon doesn't get targeted. Going after the Bunker here. Going to pull away the Dragoons as they get hurt. He's pulled out one Marine out of the bunker to actually target one of the Dragoons. That was a pretty good call. Even gets a second Dragoon here. Not bad for Scan. Good heads-up decision-making there. To get as much value out of those units as he could. Some mines going to be laid here at the top of the ramp. Got to be careful. Just barely not triggering that one at the front. That was really, really close. Thought that it might that might actually go off there, but... Promise going to back up. And Scan going to rotate. Coming around here towards the natural once again from a different angle. Three vultures, one tank. He built a second factory. He does build a second factory. He's going for it again. A repeat. A complete repeat of last game. Kind of wild to see. I said that we weren't going to see this. Double factory again, but... It's so similar to the last game. It's kind of crazy. He's just going to do this all over again stops the probe from getting in to actually scout to see if there's a cc 
So, in fact, we've got Promise doing exactly the same thing as he did last time, too. He's going to send two, three Dragoons into the main, get ready for a drop, and we're just going to have a push here at the front. This is wild. Are we going to wait for Siege Mode this time? I think so. More SCVs are being pulled as well. Just Vulture production right now. Okay, Siege Mode just about done. First Observer about to pop out here. Getting really close. You can start to clear these mines once that's done. Repairing up everything. Scan gonna gamble it all. On this next play. We'll see if he can get the damage that he needs. To either make it a game or just outright kill. Promise here. Here he comes, just as the Observer arrives. Here comes that attack. Right now, Promise figures it out. He knows now. This is some sort of crazy all-in. This must be two factory. Start a bunker here at the front. Can't really put out mines right now because he doesn't want to draw the mines into his own units. Targeting down the Zealots here. Gonna target the tanks into the center. Very nice targeting there, right in the middle of all those Dragoons. One tank does fall. More tanks are on the way here. The bunker finishes, but it's out of range of the Nexus. You should be able to get into range of the Nexus, though, with his tank. Just needs to unsiege and move a little further forward. Can he actually hit anything here? Okay, he can hit the Nexus. Never mind. Look at that range. That is sick, sick range. Starting to hit probes here as well. One vulture going to be pulled out to try and hit probes. Deal as much damage as he can. Target on the probes would be very good right now. Doesn't get it. But still, he will get the Nexus. Whoa! What is going on down here? A Nexus over at center left and three gateways in the center right right now. Madness. Promise is going to go absolutely ham here. I imagine we'll see him... Uh, bring dragoons to the low ground again probably right let's start shuttling these down elevator technique in full effect start bringing these out onto the map and you should be able to save that the nexus here what are we going to make out of these gateways just goons we don't have any other tech oh my goodness getting surrounded here let me kill a tank no can't really move too much because there's mines everywhere and the goons are just getting slowly picked off right now. This is some good play from... Uh, oh! Trying to drag the mine there. Not going to work out for him though. Good play by Scan to just um, figure out this possibility and immediately respond to it. More dragoons are going to come out though. Four more should be enough to deal with these uh, damaged vultures here. What are we going to start incrementing out of these? Just Dragoons. That is so interesting. More, uh, more uh, dra tanks are going to come down here. And he's going to try and clear these uh, Dragoons out. But I think that we could end up killing a tank or two. Ooh, he's going to get one at least. He could dive on top of this and drag the mine. All right, just kills that off. Doesn't drag any mines. Only a few Dragoons here on the high ground. How long does he wait, I wonder? Like, how many Dragoons is he going to make here before he pulls the trigger and actually attacks? Like, if you, I think if you got, like, six Dragoons, that's a pretty good number. Four is, what, two shots a tank? Oh, he gets that one tank. Oh, the mine! Almost getting some major damage there with the mine as well. Hmm, this is interesting. Is he going to pick up with the shuttle? Go across the map and reinforce this? Six Dragoons are now ready. Another Nexus going down here. Now at the bottom right. As his Nexus in the center left goes down. No probes actually mining there. So this is kind of wasteful. To send this much, this many tanks and vultures down here to actually deal with this. Coming into the natural now. We've got the Observer. We've got the Dragoons. So he can actually push straight up here into the main base now. Just get up in the main base and get on top of the factory. That should be good enough to win this game. I think Promise is actually going to do it here. The three gates on shuttle side of the map. It's super cheeky. 
but it's working out really, really well for him here. He does bring that. He brings the Zealots over. Oh, he loses the, the Observer, unfortunately. That's a little bit sad. One Dragoon runs out and just dies. Uh, tanks are going down here. He takes over this area. We've got a few tanks coming back home. But a lot of SUVs have been lost. Just down to 20 SUVs now. Ooh, a great mine connection there. That's down to the uh, Observer running into this turret over there. Um, tanks are going to be able to push this back, maybe. But so many SUVs have been lost. We're at 34 to 17. Another tank's going to go down. And likely another one after that. So there's just no money left for Scan at this point. And the Dragoon is just running around in circles. Oh my gosh, they're really getting bugged out here. Do not drag a mine into that, though. That would be painful. One more Dragoon here. I picked up that one Dragoon, actually. I'm gonna drop it behind this tank. Finally, we'll clear out the tank, uh, the Dragoons. Big mass repair here. Onto this final tank. And it looks like he's gonna survive, but with what? What does he have remaining here? Nothing, really. 19 SCVs is all he's got, and two CCs. I have to float onto high ground to keep that alive. And I mean, what a, what are we actually going to do at this point? Shuttle here should really go and pick up some zealots. You can absolutely break from this position. There's more goons being added on here. Some zealots are going to increment out. So I guess that's what he's waiting for. Zealots to pop out here. He's making probes down at the bottom right. Can't really transfer right now because there is still this tank in the front with seven kills, in fact. I guess he'll go home and break out. It's about that time. Scan's not going to come back in this game from being left alone for just a few seconds while you go back and clear that out. So, I think Prom is doing the right thing right now. This was an insane gamble play, but he's playing very practically now. Very pragmatically. Making the right decisions here that are going to get him further and further ahead. And so, this bunker will fall. This one Dragoon survives with minimal HP. And now we have officially broken out of our main base. So the natural can be taken. Mines can be cleared. And Scan is sitting here with three tanks and 25 SCVs. He is just not looking good. He is like an anemic man right now. He just has no blood in his system. He's completely white in the face. Uh, everything is on fire. The house is burning down. He says this is fine and he just carries on, but it's not fine, guys. We are just about to get cracked over the head by a Protoss any moment now. Starts to long distance mine here. More probes being sent down, I guess, to the bottom right. Probe here to the center left as well. Let's start another Nexus. Buildings being set up in the front here. A bunker. The engineering bay barracks. He's just thinking about survival right now. And that's the right way to play. Because, you know, maybe Promise throws this entire army away. And then maybe we can get another CC. And then maybe we can put it down over here. Maybe we can push these gateways if we kill the gateways. Then he only has two gates back at home. I mean, there's a lot of maybes happening. Oh, there's another gateway down here. Oh, man. There's so many Nexi around. There's a lot of maybes to this uh, equation here. That would have to go correctly for Scan to make his way back into this game. And he's kind of already pushing forward. Setting up more turrets. He has a pretty good spread of tanks. He's got some floating buildings, which are key in moments like this. I almost feel like it might be a good idea to just land and put another supply depot and stuff. Oh, Reaver into the main. He GG's out. Too much has gone wrong for Scan. And yeah, he, he he's right to tap out here. I think that this was such a chaotic game that maybe you, you want to kind of wait it out and see what happens. Um, up to this point, but yeah, it's it's just a little bit too bad. It's a little little too rough here for Scan, and he does tap. Great games, though. Honestly, this was a lot of fun, guys. I really enjoy the scrappy early games. It's not all about, you know, max 200, 200 tank push. Um, 
and carrier switches and all that stuff. Those are fun games too, but it's really nice to see some really scrappy early games, you know, SCV poles killing nexuses and uh, kind of wacky elevator strats and uh, proxy three gate. That's always fun. This is this is good. I, I'm going to look for more games from Promise and I'll, of course, always keep an eye out for great scan replays as well. Scan is the man. I mean, that is it for today's daily dose of Brood War. Tomorrow, I'm going to be featured on the BSL Races Championship cast. That's going to be on Zero's channel. I'll make an announcement about it tomorrow, guys. But that is, I think, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Thursday, the 6th of June. So if you guys are around and available to watch that, come in, say hi, hang out. I would really appreciate it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.